the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, God bless you. I hope you enjoy uh, your weekend uh, your, and last week, and I hope you have a blessed week coming up. And uh, this Sunday, we just did uh, the 23rd of July. We sat there and, and went over uh, the true mark of a Christian. But the title started off, because I ended up with two titles. And I want to show the two titles, and I want to read the scripture that we use, because the fact is we as believers need to start operating as believers and stop operating according to the world and understand that we are all accountable to God. And if you don't think that, then, then, then that's, you understand that stop calling yourself a Christian if you don't want to be accountable to God. A lot of cases we seem to be accountable to man, but we got to be accountable to God. Amen? So, this is the, this is a topic that uh, I felt I needed to address this morning, uh, but <laughs> the whole point is we need to understand the true mark of a Christian. But my title, then I go with this title. But the second title I want to show you in the scripture I'm going to go over with, uh, is "Do Christians believe we benefit from slavery?" That's a question. Do you? Because in Florida, they they want to put and say there was some benefit from being a slave. There was some benefit from being raped. There was some benefit from being uh, tortured and mutilated and hung and forced to lay, uh, to, to work in in cotton fields and 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 cake and you know other agricultural uh, things as if these people came from civilizations that didn't have those things, don't have those skills. But if, you, if you're that ignorant, I'm sorry, I'm going to tell you something. The earliest and first civilization started where? In Africa. <laughs> that's not an indoctrination, that's a truth. And the fact is that those people came from, those people who were kidnapped, came from uh, cultures and civilizations that were surviving and striving as a governments and as, as people, as communities. They, they didn't come out there sitting there hanging on a, a, just in a hut or just spear, throwing a spear. These people came. And don't forget, too, if you don't know history, the Moors ruled Europe for over seven, eight hundred years. Maybe you didn't know that, but you know it now. If you're going to listen. So we got to say, no, there's no benefit from being a slave. You think so? You be one and see if you like it. So I started with that. But this is what the whole point I really wanted to get to is this right here, the mark of a true Christian. And I want to cover those scriptures. And like I said, I hope you enjoy this uh, study we're going to do. I'll break them down in segments. But the fact is that we have to go by the teaching of Christ. We need to show and bear good fruit. Fruits of the Spirit found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Now the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such there's no law. We need to bear good fruit. And then we need to also show the mark of a true Christian. And that's what this one is about, is showing the true marks of a Christian. And don't forget, Christ said, if you love me, you keep my commandments. Obviously, if some people saying they love somebody else because they're not loving Christ, but they're not keeping his commandments. So here's the, the script I wanted to use that we're going to use by study. And those scriptures come at the end of the study. But look at what it says here. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope, patience in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of the saints, giving the hospitality, bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not, Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceit. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide, on, provide things honest in the sight of all men. 
if it be possible, as much as lies in you, live peacefully with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore the enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, he shall heap coals of fire in his hand. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. That's the whole point we're saying is the mark of a Christian. And I like to read that again. Be not overcome with evil, overcome evil with good. Listen, we need to be and bear the mark of a Christian. These are the answers to the test if you want to be a Christian. You make that confession and you bear good fruit because it's time for us to shine. And I'm saying is that's not some of the stuff we're seeing in the day. It's not about shining, it's about lying. And we need to not tolerate that anymore. It's time to start making the deal with the devil and start making the deal with God through the new covenant, through Christ. Amen? And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you when I see you. And now we're getting ready to go to the next session or the concerning the study we did this week on the 23rd of July. God bless you and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. Oh, the light, right? Listen, how do you treat there? Talk about the, the, the Texas about little kids. They got barbed wire out there now. Yeah. And 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 as little kids coming across the, the the water, trying to come into the country legally, trying what they mean is they're turning themselves in. They're saying that this is a point of entry that I could come in and apply for asylum uh, to, to to come trying to escape from. I was trying to escape from something that I'm sitting there willing to go across this water. I don't even know why they tried to do that. They should have just gone straight to the port of entries, period. Because it, it's like, that man's crazy right now. I've got barbed wire out there. He put a big old uh, uh, floating balloons in the, in the yeah, that, middle of the river. Set underwater, so you got to be able to swim underneath it where the current is stronger. Mm. And, 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 and And make it to the other side. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, it's 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 uh, it shows the humanity. That's the, the there true you go. humanity mm -hmm. of what is going on in the mind of them, them folks down come there. Come on, come on. Yeah. You know, if if you can say that that all lives matter, mm. when you come say on black now. lives matter, they're gonna say all lives matter. But then do this. Yeah. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yeah. So right. if 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 you could say all lives matter, or the life of a child in the womb matters, but yet have no compassion no. for for humans, <laughs> for human beings. Now, and I'm not I'm not just I'm talking serious. about people of color. I'm talking yeah. about humans. Exactly. Black, white, yellow. Uh. uh Whatever other color there is, right? You know, beige, <clears throat> uh, tan, any any color of human on on this earth. Yeah, they profess that they are protecting them, mm. but are not. And not so. Uh, I guess because they can't see the true color of a child in the womb. That's that's. <laughs> that's the, yeah, Maybe that's oh, yeah, yeah. so important to them. Yeah, well, don't forget the fact that we talked a couple of weeks ago about the fact that the death, the mortality rate, yeah, the death mortality rate of giving birth, uh, that the for some reason people not not so reason for for evil. Yeah, those of you that sit there and got your license being a doctor or a nurse, forty one percent of of African Americans least reported. Either the child or the mother dies giving birth. Yeah. When when the person is a doctor of color, meaning whether he's a African American or, uh, or African. Asian or whatever, yeah. You know, the, the that death that mortality rate goes down. Goes down. You know, almost to the point of zero, because that that doctor listens to his patient. And try to make sure he do the right thing. I hope they start sue. I hope those parents who are losing their children sue these people uh, because it's malpractice. Well, You're supposed to get the best care. You, you, 
can't, what do you call that? That, that, that oath, you took an oath. Yeah. And yet, do no harm. Do no harm. And yet you allow people to So I guess to if die. you do nothing, then you're not doing harm. But then that, mm. that's an action. That's an action. So. That's an action. Um. It's, you see what I'm saying? It, it, I tell you, it, it upset you when you think about it, right? Yeah. Because you're like, the hypocrisy of it. And the only the only way to get out of this this mindset of, of to to be able to sin, I mean to to be anger and sin not, yeah, uh -huh. is to approach this in a biblical way. Exactly. To to, to have the big picture, to look at this at the the big picture, yeah. to look at this as God tells us to look at it right and then you won't sin because exactly. believe you if you really get into the weeds of this and you stay there and you reason there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then you will be uh influenced yeah by the enemy yeah to take action that is unlawful and, and to, it, it, to, to do it, things yeah. that are unbiblical Right, which is what some people was taught, obviously tricked to do, yeah. right? Because some of these people actually, some of these people believe they're doing God's will. Yeah. And and we're trying to tell you, that's why we're approaching this from the scriptures. You know, I'm pretty sure that the, the title is going to get some people to look at it and say, well, what are you talking about? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm asking a question because I'm showing you the scriptures that say you shouldn't be or shouldn't be doing it. And yet you're doing it anyway. Or some of those people are doing it anyway. I, you know, I, I don't know about you. I have constant. I know you have ran into people who, who. I, there's one guy on the social media said he was a pastor. He was afraid God and everything else. And now he don't believe. He said that the the Bible was written to to control people. And see, that's what happens to people who learn that. You guys are not operating according to the gospel. Some of you. What, what's even, what, what, what bothers me about that statement, <clears throat> that the Bible was created to control people, mm -hmm. it starts out with free will. <laughs> so who, where, where is the control to begin yeah, with? Yeah, and who's, who's, who's control? Free will. You have a choice to do whatever. Mm -hmm. But there's consequences. Mm -hmm. And it's just telling you, if you choose this, there's life. If yes. you choose this, there's step. So it, it explains exactly. what happens. It's trying to help you yeah. to to live and, to, that, yeah. and to and to thrive. Come but on. even the law was there to show you. Come on, it was there to show you. That's all. To show you the choices that you should make. Mm. And mm. even if you make the wrong choice, how to correct it. Come on. So then you have the dispensation of grace that Come invites on. everyone in. Exactly. And it's still a choice. It's yes. not a control. It's not, a, we're going to make you do that. You know, the Spanish Inquisition tried to do that. And exactly. you see the atrocities in that. But yeah. that's not what God is about and not what he, his, his desire for mankind is. Right. His desire is that you choose him. Come on. That you choose salvation. Yes. That you choose everlasting life. Yes. That you choose blessings. Yes. You know, that you that you choose all this. You choose Come grace. On. So it's a choice that you always have. He's not making you do anything, mm -hmm. but he's showing you if you choose this. Come on now. This is waiting for you. Yes. But if you choose this, this is waiting for you. From the garden to the rapture. Yes, sir. And and believe me, everybody is 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 rapturing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everyone. The the those who will have eternal death and those who have eternal life. Mm. Everyone is going to go before God whether they believe in him or not. That's what the scripture and said. That is the only choice that you do not have. <laughs> exactly. Because it's every that's need. After, <laughs> after. Yes. That's after this physical world 
for every individual ceases. Yeah. Your choices cease. Yes. And you know the thing, like I said, that was a every needs to bow, every tongue to confess yes. that Jesus is Lord. But the thing, I think what those people look at though, if you ever look at how I was talking to my buddy this week, he everything he says about spirituality and everything else in religion, because he's really focused on religion. I told him, I said, did you know there's one common denominator in everything that deals with the atrocities of man? It's man. Yeah. You can sit there, and I said that he was trying to, he was trying to blame religion for everything. And I'm sitting there and said, <laughs> you, can, you can take religion out of the equation, and you still get the atrocities of yeah. man. So don't think it's 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 the it's the denomination the denominator the common everybody the common denominator is us. That's why he sent his son because we need to be redeemed. The firstborn child we talked about many weeks ago. The firstborn child from Adam is a murderer. Is a murderer. And, and 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 so <laughs> get a clue. The, the first the first thing. <laughs> That came from man. Yeah, the first thing that came from that the came new from, that literally system. came from man. Not come, come, on. come from God. That came from well. Let me back that up. The life the came. Second from thing. Yeah. That came from from man. Mm -hmm. Because the woman. Yeah. Came from God. Yeah. Yeah. The, so the, 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 actually, the ground, the plant, the I ground. Guess the third. Let's say yeah. the third thing. <laughs> well, well, no, 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 not even that. But. But the the first thing that came of me yeah. was a, a a spirit, a soul, and a body that was abnormal. Mm. That was became corrupted. That's what that was unlinked yeah. to God. Yeah. That that was out of the 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 I, I don't wanna say. I would say the seed. I would say the seed. The other word, the seed became corrupted. Yeah. And 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 what you had was uh, the first seed that was conceived from Eve by Adam, born, became was a murderer. Yeah. You was and born, that's born born in sin. Born, born in born sin. of sin. Separated, not yeah. born again. Yeah. You know, and that's what the Bible Christ said. That's what Christ said, be not deceived. Not that I mean, excuse me, not deceived. God said, marvel not. You must be born again. Mm -hmm. And born again means that you should come out with a new root, a new seed yourself. You become something of righteousness through Christ. But you have to follow Christ. And and a seed is known by, that's what we said, we said, what's that, a tree is known by his fruit. I'm, I know what you are based on the fruits that you bear. I'm, I'm looking at your tree. And you can sit there and try to deceive yourself all you want, but a tree is known by its fruit. And to sit there, and the question I had at the beginning of the slide was, do Christians believe that people benefited from the works of the flesh, basically? Because that was all works of the flesh. And then you're trying to create a narrative. You're trying to hang somebody. It's, it's like you're doing, you, you're creating a narrative and it says, see, that's that's how they are. You know, I, <laughs> I sit there sometimes and because could they tell the children, they teach the children something <laughs> that when, when they go out in the street and go out in this life, they're telling the children, that's a thief, that's a robber, that's a murderer, that's, you know, like I said, all those bad things. They say that. And then when those guys who become police officers, they immediately, I was, and I'm going to use some example. You remember in Arizona years, I think it was in 2000 or even 96, I'm not sure, where a little girl, African-American girl, took a little doll, 10 cent doll, and, and, and when the parents left, the child had took, took that little doll and they were not aware of it. Yeah. And, and, and the, the police came as if a serious crime was committed. And 
and and just grab the the mother and the you know the husband out of the car. The mother was pregnant. And, and and they tried to put them on the ground uh, or kick, you know, just basically they thought it's like like a robbery occurred. Mm -hmm. And when we're talking about a 10 cent doll, uh, it's, it's almost as if all they have to hear that I see a black man doing something suspicious, that they will come out ready to shoot him because they've been hurt, you know what I'm saying? They hear it over and over again. These are bad people. Well, they're defaulted to that. They exactly. You know, and and their default is so evil and mm. so corrupt. It's like how could you even go there? If 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 you're saying this person is evil and needs to be hung, uh, well, needs to be <laughs> yeah, me hung, like up in a tree. Burned yeah. alive and then hanged and then Woo. pieced out. And then you think that that person is more evil than you and the crowd that is there witnessing? What does that even make sense? And it, it's not like being blinded. Only for a picture, you, you pose you, yeah. for a picture to show that you were a part of that. You know, and then you say that that person is evil and deserves this. I mean, come on, how, how, where, where's the disconnect here? Where's it, matter of fact, you know what? I'll tell you what, this, that playbook has been used over and over again. And even the modern day, let me bring up a modern day one. Uh, the Mayor Garland or Biden, there was a whistleblower dealing with the the wise guy, the wise guy against Weeze or Wise, whatever was doing the investigation of Hunt Biden, right? And you know, they're gonna decide not to, they did a plea deal, yeah, right? So you can go ahead. And and two whistleblowers went to Congress from, I guess, the IRS too, they're not even yeah. criminal, I mean, uh, law enforcement or FBI, and said that the man, the would go, was not allowed to become a special uh, prosecutor and was not allowed to bring charges against Hunter Biden in the way that they wanted him to do it. Yeah. And and, and the man himself already wrote, wrote a letter saying, no, nobody told me that I couldn't be a special counsel. Nobody told me <laughs> or tried to influence me to come up with the con conclusion I came up with. And yet, because those two people <laughs> sit there and, and, and say that yes, yes he was he was denied to become Baba, you know denied to do his yeah. job they're sitting there saying i'm considered uh what's it called i'm considering impeachment uh yeah over this man. but but you know that just shows you the extreme that's this come out the extremism that's going on <laughs> that has been allowed to get into our <laughs> our leadership yeah. i mean when you have people who don't even think through their stupidity you know they they just blurt the first thing that comes out of their mouth and there's a that second. seems controversial uh -huh. and then they try and and make up stuff to make it seem true right you know to back it up right so if <laughs> they, look they got one with biden they got one where they said on the investigation of the uh of, uh, of Joe, uh, I guess the son, said that Biden was in the, somebody said, and the guy's on the run now, but he said that Joe Biden was even in the room with the, uh, his son getting money from China. Uh, and you're like, uh, so we're going to impeach him. But, but, the contrary thing is we got somebody who, oh, don't forget Hillary too, all right? Lock her up. We, we didn't find this troll of secret documents and everything because it was hidden, it was erased, it was it was taken, you know, hidden or whatever, right? But we got somebody in plain sight who put boxes, I mean, you know, literally hard boxes of classified documents and, and say, lock her up, but don't lock him up. Yeah. Hey everybody, God bless you. I, 
I, once again, I still be excited about getting to the Word of God, studying the Word of God, and discussing the Word of God with other people. And this Sunday is no different than for the rest of this week. Uh, we're sending out in small segments uh, these uh, sessions so you can digest them. Uh, but I'm telling you, the the topic today, I had a bit of two topics uh, because you got to be led by the Holy Spirit on what He wants to talk about, and 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 try to make sure people understand who we are, who you are. If you believe that you are a believer in Christ, if you are letting Christ be Lord, because not just confessing with your mouth the Lord Jesus, but believing in your heart that God raised from the dead now to be saved. But the key to that is that you believe with your heart and you, you, you confess salvation to your mouth. But the key, what I want to put in there is that you let him be Lord in your life. If you follow in Christ, Christ said in John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by him. So the question is, is some of the behavior that we do, are we doing that to, to please the Father or are we doing things to please man? Do we believe we're going to only be accountable to man in this lifetime or do we understand we're going to be accountable to God? That's what I want to be able to talk about. And when, when, when I came up with the study, I had the initial topic is the mark of a true Christian. And, and I felt led and also inspired because of the news of this week where the state of Florida so then says that, you know, uh, slaves benefit from being slaves. And, you know, good weather, that, that's just a slap in the face to anybody to just think that you, you benefit from being a slave. Uh, could I ask you a question? Who, anybody, anybody who was not, were not slaves, anybody who would, came to this country as free people or indentured people, but the fact that you came to this country and did you want to be a slave? Do you think that you would have been, you have been beneficial for you to be a slave opposed to being free? And the answer is going to always be being free. So it isn't the time that I get in there. Call, this is my opening piece I want to give and, and, and close out. I had two topics. The first one was do Christians, you know, because I'm a Christian, so I'm talking about as Christians. Do Christians believe we benefited from slavery? And the answer should be no. And if you do believe that, then you need to go and come up on the line and tell people why you felt that you should have been a slave so you can get benefit. So instead of sitting there trying to say that somebody else benefited from rape, benefited from murder and lynching and the brutality and forced to, to not pursue happiness, but to be forced to work for somebody else forever, or at least until they die. You know, that's, that's the conditions of slavery. And, and something about Florida, they forgot the fact is that those people that actually uh, are anti-abortion, don't, don't forget that some of the people in Florida or in some of the other states, I guess, as well, use baby slaves to capture alligators. I mean, they put the baby out in the and, and to reach for the alligator and come in a child. That's, that's, that's demonic, don't you agree? But the bottom line I put down here is that do Christians believe we benefit from slavery? No. We don't think we benefited from the brutalities of slavery. And if you think so, why don't you go ahead and be a slave for yourself? You know, the bottom line is we are believers. And Christ had then said in John 15, if you love me, you keep my commandments. You know his commandments, right? John 14, 30. Well, 13, uh, 35, uh, 34, where it says is a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I love you, that you also love one another. And then 35 says, and men will know you are my disciples for the love you have for one another. So uh, obviously, uh, people of slavery that became Christians, they still had the same type of mentalities and everything else really bring up this modern day time. And yet, they did it by, to, from people who profess to be Christians. Uh, now, the benefit is something from God, not from man. And if, if I go by the man benefit, I don't want it. Not that way, anyway. The other one I put down here is the mark of a true Christian. 
reception and, and as we close out. The fact is, man, uh, are some people not recognizing, and I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of them, they don't really are accountable to God. They don't believe they are, but everybody will. The Bible said it. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Christ is Lord. Uh, everybody will be go before God and give account of himself to God. You know, that's why we want to advocate Christ. So you take it for what you want. But obviously in this world, talking about in this world, some people feel that they are not going to be held accountable. And maybe that's why they do what they do. They can't see what they're seeing or doing. I mean, so God bless you. Hope you enjoy yourself. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to put the, my introduction in. I may do a, a closeout as well. But don't forget to subscribe. Leave comments. And uh, I appreciate the support of listening. Man, God bless you. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.